everybody welcome back to my channel take care for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about click that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about alien Alien is rated R. It came out in 1979. It is a horror sci-fi movie and it's an hour and 59 minutes long and it's directed by Ridley Scott. Oh my god you guys I am so ashamed that I have gone this far without ever seeing this damn movie because holy moly is this movie awesome. Like seriously. Now the first about 30 minutes of the movie is pretty slow. You know we're building up, we're getting to know these characters, we're seeing what it is all about why they were awakened, what's, you know, them getting to this other planet. The next 30 minutes is them kind of like exploring the planet. Well, getting to the planet, exploring it, you know, getting into some trouble, getting attacked by this like face hugger and kind of trying to figure out what the hell it's about. And of course, it lasts hours for all their real excitement goals. Now, let me tell you guys, I, I honestly thought I had seen this movie. <laughs> I honestly did. But then like, the more and more that I thought about it, I'm like, honestly, the only clip that ever comes to mind is the most iconic clip which is the alien coming out through the chest so they are in slumber they get awakened uh 10 months before they actually are supposed to reach earth because again they have this distress call a uh, mother wakes them up who is like the mothership of the nostromo apparently it's protocol that you know there's just some sort of like distress or whatever you're going to go and kind of investigate and it kind of just goes more so with the real purpose i guess of what they were really looking for the ship there's a total of six people I believe it was and there's a damn cat the cat is named Jones why is there a cat in space like the whole time I'm like that damn cat better not die and then like later on through the movie I'm like leave the fucking cat alone like what the hell like if it was a dog the dog would come over here but you know a cat so like I'm more of a dog person but I do love cats as well but you know you, you can't really control them and they just kind of take off and you're going and I'm just saying right now the damn cat survives but I don't know you guys I don't, I don't know if I would have save the cat i mean maybe i probably would have saved the cat but still i'm um, just like that damn cat was about this close to being left but then like, i thought the alien was gonna kill it at some point i was like oh my god the poor cat like save the cat now i don't want to give you guys like any like big major spoilers because again if you haven't seen the movie definitely definitely watch this movie you guys is like awesome like really really is again so disappointed that i've never seen this movie you can find it on hbo max um or hbo i also saw the director's cut so i don't know what the theatrical cut looks like what extra scenes i personally received now this visually looks amazing you guys the story the tone the music you guys that's used in here it was fabulous the visual effects um the the set design like the ship itself you guys is awesome looking and and it still holds up to this day you guys to be honest with you the fact that they went with that more like worn down grungy like we have been living in here look it doesn't look nice and clean and fancy you know like when you see uh movies nowadays when they're going off into space like everything is shiny and new and you know all that good stuff but no 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 this is like worn down like this is a, a ship that's been in use for quite some time now i know i said i wasn't gonna give you guys any spoilers but you know here goes a spoiler somebody who dies so when brent who is one of the mechanics on board who is out looking for the damn cat damn cat poor cat though he saw so many murders he's like scarred for life but anyway it goes while he's like in this area by himself because he gets sent by him but mind you they already know that there are damn aliens on board but they didn't realize how big it was like oh you guys that's another thing this alien like grew so fast like it, from one moment to the other but i, I keep I, if you guys are new i'm sorry i go all over the place i you know i my ADD is like terrible but i eventually you know i i always come back i come back sometimes but i try to always come back me trying to come back you guys he is looking for this damn cat in that room whatever the hell it is so when he's in this room you hear the water dripping you know you hear the the, the chains clicking and clacking and then when you finally um get the reveal of the alien behind him it just there's no music there's nothing and i feel like that was perfectly done you guys i really really do because one of the things that a lot of you know movies does is that you get that build up with the intensity of the music to get that reveal of the villain of the monster of the alien i do want to say even though i haven't seen aliens aliens 2 I think there's an Aliens 3. Um, I have seen like the newer ones like Alien vs Predator. I've seen that one. I think there's another like 
or alien movie around that like from the 2000s 2010s era somewhere around there i think i could be mistaken you know what you guys from the beginning i was like i don't trust that motherfucker there's something about you just something some. and i don't want to ruin it for you guys in case you haven't seen it but i did not see that coming at all i totally thought like different was happening with him i did not like ash from the beat it when, when we found out what he was i was just like and again even though i have heard about the movie i didn't know overall like the concept i didn't know what was happening i didn't know who was going to survive what was going to survive so it, i really went in just you know blind I and mean, honestly it was just like a first time really reaction but overall i mean obviously you could tell my excitement is awesome i'm gonna give it a freaking large popcorn this has made it i think to one of my favorite movies of all time i do need to give it a couple more watches just to fully get it there because you know i've said this many times i don't really like to put a movie up to that level unless i've given it like two or three watches but i can confidently say that this movie is like really kind of just jumped up there like i said in my video from yesterday i am attempting to do the 13 nights of halloween uploads i just don't know how i'm going to get to daily uploads so we're, we're, we're gonna see now if you've seen alien let me know down below what did you guys think about it did you like it did you like it did you hate it is it just not for you if you've seen it is it on one of your favorite movies of all time or where were you kind of classifying it within your list so this is the end of day two of my 13 nights of halloween i hope you guys enjoyed of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new i'll see you guys tomorrow bye